High Fire Energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching as well. And welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. So today we're going to take a look and see whether or not you can trust your romantic interests. So can you trust them? Can you trust what they say? Um, or can you trust your feelings towards them? As always, guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead, keep the cards a shuffle, and see what they say. So can you trust them? Three of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant, the Hermit, the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, um, okay, I feel like the two of you have gone through some sort of rough patch, or it's your person's energy. Um, okay, it might have been a recent breakup, a separation. Um, some sort of upset, uh, possibly tease involved here. Um, but the Hierophants alongside the Three of Swords indicate, indicates that there is going to be a recovery period or the two of you trying to recover from this. I'm seeing forgiveness, possible reconciliation, healing. Um, this is interesting with, with regards to this person's energy. It's actually quite um, an interesting um, combination of cards here. The Three of Swords in reverse um, is an indication that maybe this person has hurt you in the past, right? Or is maybe in the process, like is disrespecting you or is mistreating you or this person, you know, there's some sort of conflict here. Um, but I do like the Hierophant alongside the um, the Three of Swords for you. Why? Because I feel like this is, this is an indication, it's actually a hint at the two of you being able to settle your conflicts. And the two of you possibly being able to forgive one another or maybe this is your energy that's forgiving of them okay so can you trust this person um i feel like with regards to the energy look i do feel like this person is a trustworthy energy okay um they say that the you know the people you love the most they have the um, ability to hurt you the most because you care about them most right um i feel like this person may still be the reason why, you know, they say hurt people hurt other people, probably the worst as well. And I feel like the reason why this person may hurt you or why, you know, they may say something um, which may question you to um, to doubt their trust in you is because this person is hurt. I'm also getting a sense that this person is maybe repressing their, has repressed their emotions. There is a desire for them to heal this hurt, but I feel like they're processing it, okay? Um... And because I feel like there's a hurt that might still fester. So wounds, maybe the wounds aren't healing, they're being repressed. Or maybe, um, and that's why they're festering and they're creating this conflict or this resentment, this anger, this, you know, heartbreak, this um, upset rather. Um, maybe they're not able to forgive some, um, they're not able to forgive a connecting energy for what they did to them in the past. So an ex, an ex-husband, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or an ex-wife, um... Or it could be like a family member. Um, this person has been really let down. Um, and this person has been really um, emotionally disappointed. I see there was a point in their life when they hit emotional rock bottom, okay? And I feel like the wound still festered there because this person still holds some sort of association or attachment to that feeling or to that person. Whether it's resentment, guilt, anger, it's still... Um, that creates a link. It creates um, a thread that ties this person to the other here um with the hierophant i do like that he's shown up in your spread here because this is an indication of someone's commitment to you okay this is an indication of also this person being being able to acknowledge their mistakes or them being 
being able to acknowledge or identify that look they've hurt you or you know you're hurting or they're somehow maybe damaging what they're doing is damaging the connection so I feel like this person is, is able to identify their mistakes or able to identify their wrongdoings I'm seeing that this person is someone who um, you know they have no problem with apologizing they have no problem with apologizing and for some of you I do feel like there's an apology or possible reconciliation that's coming in from um, this person's energy um, as I've mentioned I do feel like this person is a trustworthy energy because you do have the king of swords here and the king of swords is someone who's very honest is very direct and you know the, the sword he which he holds upright this is uh, symbolic of his um, how much he values truth and honesty above all things much like the queen of swords right so i do feel like this person has a tendency to tell her like it is and when they do you know there's this directness about them there's this forwardness about them and in that forwardness there's also like um a truth truthfulness so i do feel like this person um they have a tendency to tell the truth even if it hurts you um which is a good thing and sometimes can be a bad thing right um um yeah there's a lot of introspection happening with the Hermit here around this connection, whether it's your energy, their energy, the both of your energies here. There's a lot of like reflecting and looking back. Um, I'm seeing that either you're a light to this person, like you're a light to their darkness, or this person is, um, they're shining somehow a light onto your darkness, onto whatever it is that you're going through here. They're a withdrawn kind of energy, which makes it all the more difficult to to read them or all the more difficult, you know, um, for you to get to know them on a more deeper level because this person, I feel like they're very self-contained, right? They're withdrawn, they're self-contained. They don't reveal too much about themselves or about the past, which then only leads you to speculate. So that can be very difficult, but I feel like this is just the way they are inclined. This is just their nature, their character, someone who's very closed off or reserved. In time, though, in time, this person will open up. I feel like they're very direct about everything else and they're very opinionated in other areas. But when it comes to themselves and talking about their emotions or their past relationships, you'll find that this person has a tendency to pull back. You'll also find that this person has a tendency to shut down a lot of the time. Um, and maybe some of you are a little bit like it raises red flags for you because you feel like this person doesn't want to talk about this then you know I could be onto something um, or you know they're fabricating the truth here that's not necessarily the case I just feel like this person has um, I feel like their coping mechanism is to I don't want to talk about it so I just, I'm just going to shut down, or I'm going to pull away, I'm just going to ghost you for a few days, or I'm going to disappear, I'll reappear again when I'm good to come out of my shell kind of energy. So you are dealing with someone who I feel like is very, very emotionally withdrawn. They will open up to you when they feel it is safe to do so. Because bear in mind, this person has a history of being hurt, okay? This person has a history of being hurt, and therefore I feel like um, they find it difficult to open up or trust people. Okay, trust is a big thing to them. I really suspect that to them, trust is a big deal. Um, I feel like their trust has been broken in the past, and this is why, like, they need honesty and truth um, in a relationship. They, you know, they, they'll give that to you, but they expect the same of that as well. Um, they, I do want to point out that this person has had made a mistake. They've hurt you or they've said something which may have been manipulated or there may have been some deception involved. But they do recognize that they've made a mistake and they are more than willing to apologize or rectify it. Um, well, the Ten of Swords, I feel like this person has been betrayed or they have been backstabbed. They've been hurt in the past. And I do feel like as a result, this person now is a little bit more... Um, weary of opening up to people or is a little bit more closed off as a result a little bit more guarded okay they have um it's not that they they believe in the worst of people it's not that it's just that they understand not everyone has good intentions for you okay um can you trust them i think you can i think you can trust what you feel towards them and i think you know unless you know they're telling you a lie okay then of course um you know um 
unless you have your facts and evidence to support that this person is fabricating um, a truth or is being you know deceitful or is being manipulative to you then that's a whole different story but based on what the cards and the energies um, are suggesting here I do feel like there is I do feel like there's potential here I, I do believe you are dealing with someone who's been hurt in the past and as a result look this person is um, is likely to have hurt you or is likely to will hurt you again um, I'm also seeing with the King of Swords, maybe this person needs some help, like maybe the guidance of a counsellor or couples therapy as well could be initiated here because I feel like this person needs maybe some assistance to deal with this repressed emotions or some of these blockages that I'm seeing around their energy. Um, the Knight of Cups tell me, tells me that this person is, um, they, are gen they have genuine feelings for you, but here's the thing with the Knight of Cups, he's a bit of an ide idealist, um, he's someone who likes to romanticize love, so this person can get sometimes swept up in the, in the whole you know notion of love and the idea of love um, and therefore this person can get sometimes carried away they like to love love they love to love love and they romanticize love they also have a tendency to romanticize people here so i feel like this is someone who has a tendency to maybe place you on a pedestal here or you know look at things with a pair of rose colored glasses on um, okay, so there we have it. Thank you guys as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your support and bye for now.